Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing DMC Devil May Cry on Dante Must Die difficulty with the hard hardcore mod. Wow, I just I just had to redo this commentary. This is a hardcore difficulty modifier on Must Style Off Turbo On, and I'm still learning how to talk, so it's an ongoing process. And I mentioned it. Uh, anybody for Ghostbusters 2? It certainly reminds me of this or that. Okay, so we're on mission 8 of 10. And uh, the hardest. There's three Dream Runners in this chapter. There's one coming up in the second wave after the you smash everybody and, and propel them upwards with the Arbiter. Uh, damn, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. That's good, though, because if there wasn't then uh, this video would be dull and I wouldn't have things to, to fill the gaps with, but uh, this fight here, you can use enemies whom, who aren't devil triggered yet and launch them up with the Arbiter, and you can do the Trinity Smash on the ones that do have the devil trigger because it does massive damage. At the end of the combo, which is Triangle Triangle Delay Triangle, it does a, just like the name says, a three hit attack that's a really big smash of attacks. And there are three Dream Runners in this chapter. One of them will come right now. No, 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 excuse me. After this wave. And you can launch everybody up. Just launch everybody up, just like you did in the first chapter. Um, on that that spinning wheel. The Ferris wheel or something like that. Whatever the hell it was. And, um... So, you're... The only place I struggled on on this chapter was the, the double Dream Runner fight. And it took me, here's what happened, it was a, a 30 minute session. When I exited out I had a raw file that was 30 minutes in length and it was full of my failures. And then I came back about 10 minutes later and then I did it on my first try. How often in life does stuff like that happen? Because you come back, you, you, you get refreshed, and you just, you just do it. And it's great. But uh, that fight will probably give you problems. So do not use your devil trigger until you get to that fight. I mean, not even here with this Dream Runner. Now, if you don't have the the Devil Trigger during the fight, that's you know the double Dream Runner fight. During the fight, you can start accruing it, which would which would be pretty helpful because, especially on this difficulty, it it builds faster. And if you want to build it even faster, you get the stylish points. Go for style, and you'll accrue it faster. I believe that's how it works. Um, what else would it? I mean, obviously it's for score, but it must benefit you in building the Devil Trigger faster by being stylish and not repeating moves. Uh, but on these guys here, it's basically do a charge, let them get stunned, and then do an uppercut with the Urx, a charged uppercut, and then launch them, after, you know, do, do the uppercut to launch them, and then do four triangles, because they parry you in the air. So, um... It, with that counterattack, what you have to do to avoid it is to do the four triangles when you're when you're launching them. I'll show you. It's coming up that fight, so I'll show you how how that works. But be cautious of doing the roulette spin with those guys because they love to counterattack you, counterattack that uh, that particular combo, and uh, they'll just knock you flat on the ground, and then you'll have recovery time. So this fight here is pretty basic. You've just got you know this this inverted globe half of a globe here on which we're standing and if you stand on the glass too long it breaks but if you throw it if you get enemies down there and they fall they will die and if you fall you only take a little bit of damage so it's not that bad but the dream runners uh, if you get there without any double trigger you can start accruing it during the battle and, and then use some because on hardcore difficulty it uh, it the double trigger that is builds faster so that you can start accruing it during the battle even if you don't have it but it's one of those things where for uh, particularly because they don't start you out with devil trigger I don't see any reason to use the devil trigger up until that fight on this chapter like all of these engagements there's no need to use it I mean uh, a purist would say don't even use it at all but sometimes you just I mean without uh, without items and you know some assistance from a devil trigger I mean that's what the game is based on so I'm also going to um, I've retitled the video so now that they say I'm sorry this video is so shitty 
I'm trying to. Um, that was a really cool. I love the slowdown effect. I love this game. Um, we're coming up on a dual tyrant fight up ahead. Trinity Smash takes these guys down really fast, but it's one of those moves where you've got a lot of vulnerability while you're doing it. But I've retitled the the videos. No, I've uh, at the very end in brackets you'll see you'll see that it says Turbo for people that are searching for turbo footage and it also says no items so I haven't finished the game yet I'm only on Bob Barbus but I haven't used any items and I'm not going to use any items now on chapter 4 I did say that I used items but that was only to re retrate um, to regain the place where I had already got up to without using items so I have no issue about that and I didn't even have to say that anyway or admit it I got to the end of that level without using any items. The game fucking glitched on me and that was unfair. It's not right. I paid my $40 for this game. Um, but we're, we are coming up in that dual Dream Runner fight. But the thing you have to know is that you've got a lot of arsenal. If I were you, if you, I'm trying to get better. See, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get better as a player. So the less I fall back on items, the more I feel that I'm getting better as a player. And I hope you feel the same way so that you can try to not use items too. If you have to, just use all the items and then save your progress so that you don't have to use your items later on. You know what I'm saying? And also, never have gold orbs in your inventory unless you really depend on them because it just delays how long it takes you to, to um, restart from a death. It has no effect on the restart from checkpoint, but I am not going to use items. I've committed to that, and I'm really excited about just the thought of that because I I used items on my last guide when I did this on Dante Must Die last year. So I'm a little trepidatious, but I'm a little exhilarated at the same time. So when we come down here, you have to realize that one of the tools in your arsenal is the camera, even though it's slow and, and you know, it's its sensitivity could be a lot better, but I think it's about a frame rate, the frame rate. So you want to you want to space yourself from these guys as much as possible but not too far and uh, do the charge Eryx's when you stun one guy, see there, you see that guy? he was stunned, do the uppercut and then capitalize when he's in the air with uh, the four triangle attack um, but just realize that the more you keep the camera off of them the more they will abs do absolutely nothing but we need them to do something so get close with the with the Eryx and if you charge one, if you get a charged hit on one and there's another guy near him just back off because you you want to do the uppercut right after that and we want to be using this too just a little bit to not only to fill our health but to deal damage to these guys and in video one I think I said that the fact that they don't get launched signifies that this is hardcore but it is better if an enemy is getting launched seriously because with the de with, with the way it is now when they don't get launched they're still attacking while we have the devil trigger, so they're completely indisposed if you don't have it on hardcore and you're just playing on Dante Must Die. So, I, yes, I would definitely prefer them to get launched. It, uh, you know, but it's fun this way too because it's harder. So now, you got, I don't know if there's ever three of these guys. There might be, so we're going to have to see. And if, if you do know if there's three, don't tell me because I want to be surprised and, and, and snuck up on them. But that, yeah, that's the best way. Keep the camera off of them and just control them with that because they'll inch forward when you put them on the camera a little bit and you can control what they're doing. So here he is, devil triggered. We're going to uppercut him one final time. Take, take that bitch out. Take care.